Hello everybody, my name is Fortifier and welcome to episode 21 of Fortifier's Fireside Chat. Today we're talking about Final Fantasy 3. I'm gonna go ahead and go out and say this and people are probably gonna hate me. I absolutely cannot stand Final Fantasy 3. But before you go sharpening your pitchforks, know that I'm not talking about the Final Fantasy 3 you're probably thinking of, the Super Nintendo. I'm talking about the one for the Famicom. Don't worry, sweet prince. Your time will come soon. Anyway, let's go ahead and catch you up a little bit. So Final Fantasy 1 comes out in 1987 on the Famicom in Japan. We didn't get it in America until 1990. Remember that fact, because it's going to be important in a few seconds. In the game, we played as four orphans who go and restore light crystals and fight the final boss, and everybody's jolly fucking happy. Yes, RPGs! I hate RPGs. <laughs> final Fantasy 2 comes out a year later, only in Japan. And it is released, again, on the Famicom, and we don't see it in America until way down the road, we're talking about Origins, Collections, etc. Copy? Copy. Final Fantasy 3 comes out in 1990, alright? So Final Fantasy 3 comes out in 1990. In America, that's whenever Final Fantasy 1 was ported to the NES. And one thing you gotta remember is that in 1990, the Super Nintendo was released to the public in Japan. So this was like the final attempt at a game for the NES in terms of RPGs from Square, before they jumped to Final Fantasy IV, which was on the Super Famicom. So interesting fun fact for that. So in 1990, the games that were kind of popular were Dr. Mario, you had uh, obviously Final Fantasy III, you had Chippendale Rescue Rangers, you had a lot of the late NES titles because NES was on its way out. And so there wasn't really much that Final Fantasy III had to compete against. I like to believe it was a successful game, but I don't like it for very specific reasons, and we'll get to that when we go to the plot section. Because this is an RPG video, we're clearly not going to talk about some of the, you know, storyline, because that would ruin it. Uh, number three is still plot heavy, just like all the previous ones. It still has the magic of all the previous Final Fantasy games. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's go ahead and take a look at that cart. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at my copy of, well, my first copy of Final Fantasy 3. So this is it right here. This is Final Fantasy 3. Again, much like its predecessor, it has really cool artwork, and that's always what Final Fantasy 3 and really Final Fantasy period has ever been about. It was awesome, awesome artwork. Mad props. Good job, Square. Now, I said this was my first copy. I got this one for like 10 bucks. It came in a bundle with Final Fantasy 2, which I also have the card of. Um, but I had a friend. I have a friend currently who sent me something phenomenal. Check this out. Complete in box, Final Fantasy 3 for $39.80, that's like roughly 20-ish bucks, 28 bucks. Check this shit out, I'm gonna try to open it up with one hand. Complete in box, from my good friend and fellow streamer, Aldrich Japan. It's got everything in it. It's got a thing that warns you not to be a jackass and plug it in right. That's cool. Uh, what's this, what's this say? Uh, Nippon language stuff, that's tight, yes, I love it. And we got a little bit of a another Nippon language stuff. This looks like probably some promotional shit. Probably this is probably warning you there's a battery or something in there. And then this copy looks hella clean compared to mine. Holy crap. Mine's got all like jizz stains and tears and shit. This one's perfect. Oh my gosh. Don't get those mixed up. It's a sin. Alright. And then we got the book. And so these are what Famicom manuals would actually look like. And this is the first time ever seeing it, so it's really cool. And you can see that it's very, very detailed about what to do. You know, if I read any Japanese and I knew what the hell it was, I'd be fine. But uh, I am not. Let's see. This is talking about the other Final Fantasy games that are available, because that's Final Fantasy 1, 2, and then 3 right there. So, pretty cool, right? So that was an awesome thing of him to do for me. He also sent me Final Fantasy 1 and 2, and if we ever do a video where we go back and talk about games that we've recorded in the past, we can definitely uh, go back and talk about that when that time comes. But anyway... Enough out of me, let's go ahead and talk some plot. Alright, so let's go ahead and talk a little bit about a plot. Uh, Final Fantasy 3. So you play as four orphans, which again was a trope from Final Fantasy 1 and 2, always, with light crystals and orphans. And you're from the village of Ur, or the continent of Ur. Uh, no, you're from the village of Ur, on a continent that really isn't named. You're lighting crystals, alright? You play as four people. I don't remember their names, we'll probably meet them all. I think the, one of them's Luneth. Luneth is one of them. Uh, I don't remember the rest. Basically, that's what it's all about. It's about lighting the crystals, and there are a bunch of characters that you meet along the way, um, and things happen to them, and the storyline evolves, and it's not as good as Final Fantasy IV, in my opinion, but, yeah. So whenever I played it, I played it on the uh, DS version, because that's all that I had available to me, and again, it wasn't bad in the beginning, but then, forced class changes. It's a mechanic. 
So in Final Fantasy 1, you could choose a class, you could set up a party. In Final Fantasy 2, you had the ability to move people to the front row and the back row, and you had static characters, which is the norm for future entries anyway. In number 3, you have classes, meaning that you can be a level 10 character, but your class level determines how much damage and how effective your job is versus the enemies that you're fighting. So you walk into a cave, you gotta be small. Use mini. Physical attacks don't work. Magic. And, uh, if you're not good at magic, you are colloquially known as being... True story. So, again, you can be going down the road and you need to go to a certain area and then boom! You need to be a Dragoon. Level 1 against a guy who's like level 30, so you gotta grind. Like, grind. grind. Sorry, I had flashbacks of grinding in Final Fantasy 4 to beat VILMOTH! That guy sucked. But I beat him! I beat him on stream, too. Take that, Zero Miss. But anyway, yeah, it's a, it's a decent it's a decent game. Let's see. But yeah, it's a decent game. I do have the translation file for it. We're gonna try to get it to work. If it doesn't work, we'll just show you some of the like basic gameplay. It looks aesthetically a lot like Final Fantasy 2 and 1, and the music is just as exceptional as ever. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it and uh, see how it turns out. Alright. Final Fantasy 3. Here we are. Okay. So I kind of don't know what's going on, so this is a, uh, this is a language patch that's going on. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work right. Looks like some things are going kind of funky. As you can see, it saves data just like the other one, so there's a battery on the inside. We also have the ability to change the message speed from the main screen, which is pretty dope. Let's go ahead and set it to 6, and hit New Game and see what happens. Alright, so it looks like the alphabet's rendering good. Let's go ahead and make this person. I think that's Lunith, alright, or is that the knight? I don't know. Uh, Okay. Fantastic. All right, so I'm falling into a hole. I remember this part. It's really interesting to see it this way. Ah, oh, so we fall into a pit. Shucks. All right. Are we gonna be all right in a place like this? Hey, it was your idea to come here. Hey, if you've got time to fight, you've got time to look for a way out. Who are you even talking to? I could have swore it was just me in here. Oh shit, here we go. All four of us are here. So, from the get-go, I guess, we're freelancers. Freelancers being the first, uh, first thing. And let's go ahead and look at this interface real quick. One time's hit. Nice. Interesting. This is really interesting. Hmm. Right, you can tell your magicians already. So we got fight, defend, run, and item. Item obviously pulls up items, which is pretty cool. It seems to go, it seems to scroll really smoothly too, and the artwork is pretty dope for what it is. And again, it's very reminiscent of one and two. As you can see, the numbers above the head say who's attacking what. I didn't notice that before. I don't think that carried over to the Nintendo DS version. That's another cool thing. I'm kind of learning things about the game right now because I've never played this particular one. Music. Oh, it's so good in this one, too. Well, what were those? Oh man, what are we gonna do now? Chests. What we got? Potion. Fantastic. Oh man. I'm really digging the numbers above the head. I'm not gonna lie, that's actually really cool. Two capacity, 16 XP. I don't know what some of these things mean, but we gotta level up, level up. Leveled up, and leveled up. Oh, what's the matter? That rock's a bit odd, now that you mention it. So, in the DS version, if you zoom, you can actually zoom in on things. And we got a leather shield. And we'll go ahead and check out the menu when we get to the main screen. Which should be very shortly, if I remember right. I don't know. Ifang and Carbuncle. Those are some uh, interesting names. I don't remember these guys. Or if they were called that way. <laughs> it's kind of silly name. Alright, they're weak. So in the DS version, you do not get all four characters. If that's what they're suggesting right now, that you get all four characters, that's not how it goes for the, the future one. I guess they took a little bit of a literary license in terms of who they were pulling in. I don't know. Let's go ahead and look at the menu screen so it's on. Alright, Onion Kid. 
Are these onion knights right off the bat? Holy crap, you have to unlock that in the other versions. All right, so we got an item menu, which is pretty cool. Uh, we can go ahead and equip some items. Uh, let's see. Let's go and put a shield. What's an ocean? All right, leather. I guess certain things didn't render very well. And as you can see, jobs. We can change jobs as we get new classes. It, once you progress a certain point, uh, you can actually unlock other classes. Again, I don't know if that's the same for this version now that I think about it. So we got status and we got equipment, whatever. Uh, we also have the ability to save, but we cannot do it inside. That's something that's always been like that. Alright, there's a lake over here. What is this? Alright, let's keep going. Let's try drinking it. Oh, it healed us. Okay. What's this? Southwind. Oh man, it's gonna be one of those games where all the weird spells and shit. I don't know. Oh hey, we can exit right here. Come on, can we make it? Can we make it? Yes. Alright, cool. Wind crystal. What is this? Something evil attacked. Land turtle. Um. I'm kind of curious if the, the terrain is the same as it is in the other one. You do fall into a hole in the DS version, but again, I, I don't know how different it was. There's got to be regional differences. Regional differences and also, uh, platform differences. Ouch. Let's use a potion. This game feels very smooth. It reminds me a lot of Final Fantasy, all the other ones, to be honest. remember fighting land turtle. Let's use a potion on me. Yep. This guy's got hella HP. Welcome to RPGs. And he's dead. Okay. Just in the nick of time. Cool beans. Let's touch the wind crystal, see what happens. Everybody got levels. Nice. Alright. Crystal began to sparkle. You have been chosen. Hey, the crystal talk. Take the last of the light, last of the hope remaining in me. At this rate, the light will soon vanish as well. The balance of everything is crumbling. When you take the light, you will be able to receive great strength from the crystals. You are the ones chosen to keep the hope. You must not let this world do things. Light surrounded the four. And... What the hell's going on here? Alright, so I guess we're gonna get a title screen. Yep, Final Fantasy III, 1990, Square. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Is he gonna... What the fuck is Nesticle? Dude, don't touch my Nesticles. Feedback. I do not think that this was in the original game. But good job, Canada. And... A.W. Oh, Jackson! Alright, can I skip this? This is kind of silly. 
some to freak. Is that a statement or a name? Four stout-hearted warriors shall trudge forward. I thought Hironobu Sakaguchi made this game. And sweep away the darkness so that once again, the crystal will shine with a light of hope. All right, you can go outside through the magic circle with quest begins here, light warriors. Okay. I don't understand what just happened, but okay. Yeah, it's pretty much set up the same way. There's Ur. Holy water from the shrine, hey, where the four are to now, what, okay. Yeah, this is... This is interesting. The elder waits inside, all right, so this is the elder. This, there's a shrine here if I go up, so let's see. Man, it's incredible to see how the graphics change over time, the different revisions of it. I sense that someone had happened to you something, uh, what the Elder has to say. They did a really good job with this. Alright, so we got standard stores, we got somebody hiding in the bushes there because he is a pervert, I think. I don't know, he's a weird dude. Don't talk about him very often. Yo, what's up? What's good? What's good? What's good? What's good? I'm picking flowers! Okay, fine, jeez. Okay. Where do we need to go now? It's... I don't want to go too far, because, again, Final Fantasy has that stigma where if you walk too far, you get you can just get fucking wrecked. We're about to find out. Killer B! <laughs> Alright. Let's go ahead and run. So, yeah. The story, it, it's pretty much the same. You go and do all the crystals and you do all the magic stuff. Um, again, I don't want to get too far into this because I don't want to ruin any plot because the next city, the story actually fully starts. It's because of that, we're going to go ahead and rate it and talk about it from my first opinions. Bear in mind, I am going to be talking about the, my overall experience with the other games because I don't see it changing too much from what it was before. And look, this is still a ghost city. Uh, again, there's this thing. This is where the mithril caves are, etc. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure that we got somebody in our thing. Hey! So, Raphia. Raphia is one of the characters. Her dad is a blacksmith here, and uh, he's a ghost right now. There's ghosts in the end. Let's go check out the end real quick before we go into rating the game. Because I, I do, I would like to play this. I might play this in the future on stream or something. That's a ghost? That's the weirdest fucking looking ghost ever. Alright. We still Jen. Yep, yeah, it was a Jen. Devil Jen. I'm Sid from Canon. Recognize Sid. Sid's in every game. He's awesome. Alrighty, guys. That's enough for me. Let's go ahead and rate the game. Alright, so I've already played this game, so I know how to formulate my opinions on this game and how I already feel about it. And it's not a bad game, it's just very tedious. There's a lot of grinding that happens. The class changes really are... They, they seem kind of uncomfortably forced, but again, it's plot progression. You're going to grind. It's Final Fantasy. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the ratings. Cart. So every cart that I've ever seen of any Final Fantasy game has always looked really awesome. Eventually, I hope to play Mystic Quest. I remember, it's the guy that's like standing on the edge of a cliff and he's like looking in the sky. I don't fucking know. I'm only human. But anyway, the artwork for 3 is cool, very reminiscent of number 1 and 2, and they've always maintained consistent stylized art with their stuff, so I'm gonna give it an A. Gameplay. Again, the gameplay is very, very good, alright? It's very, very good. No more, no less. I'm gonna give it a C. The force class changes, the storyline, it, it kinda seems forgettable to me. A little bit forgettable when compared to 2 and 1, and even 4, because I played 4 on, on stream. I just haven't reviewed it for Contemporary Corner and Fireside Chat yet. So yeah, see. Art. The art in the game is your generic tile set from, you know, the last two games, but here's the thing. It works. It flows very smoothly. All the art looks pretty damn spot on, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a B. Music. The music, if, you, if there's anything you know about me, is that Final Fantasy, uh... Final Fantasy has this like special spot in my heart when it comes to music because there's so many tracks Every single situation has a track whether you're going inside a building new town a port you're riding a boat You're at the save screen. You're pausing Everything's got its own song because of that I'm gonna give it an A fun usually I shout fun But my throat is completely and totally fucked so because of that uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and be honest with you. It was a very very mad experience for me whenever I played Final Fantasy 3 mainly because I started it three years ago and it took me 
even longer, you know, putting it down, picking it up to play it, and I don't know how I felt about it. To be honest, I'm gonna give it a C. That leaves us with an overall score of a B, which is probably a little bit better than what you thought I was gonna rate the game as, but it's not a bad game, it's just not for me. So don't come after me with pitchforks and be like, Fort, you don't know shit about- I don't know shit about games, Alpha. Anyway, that's it for today's episode. If you like what you saw, please give me a like, subscribe, and down in the comment section below tell me what you're playing and what I should be playing. I got a bunch of stuff on this wall. We even pulled out the TurboGrafx-16 now that we have a Frame Meister that we can use. I was totally stoked about that. Fuck yeah. But anyway, from my family to your family, good energy, good vibes. Fortifier out.